Hey everyone, I'm Vicki Justice, bikini model from Miami, Florida, and today I'm going to take you through a beginner home leg and butt workout. You need absolutely no equipment for this, so just find a space in your house and let's begin. So we're going to start off with the first exercise, which is going to be side to side lunges. So for the first one, you're going to want to stand in a wide position like this, toe pointed forward, and what you're going to do is you're going to lunge to one side and then come up to the other side. So it's really important that you keep your core tight the whole time that you do this. And you really focus on using your butt. So sit your butt back and come up. Make sure you go as low as you can. Um, how low you go will depend on your flexibility really, but as you get stronger, you should be able to go lower. This is really great for the side of your legs and the side of your butt. So focus on good form, and we're doing 20 of these. Keep going, go low. Make sure your knee's not passing your toes. Sit your butt back. Those are 20 side to side lunges. If you need to, you can take a break now. Take a few seconds to rest and catch your breath. The next exercise we're going to do is going to be a squat. So, um, for the squat, it's really important to have good form so that you don't injure yourself. So, um, the basic squat is going to be about hip width apart, toes pointing straight forward, and you're going to stay your butt back and come back up. So keeping your back straight, you're going to make sure you really go low. So we're going to do 10 regular squats like this. So keep your back straight, keep your abs tight. And you really want to make sure your back doesn't round or arch, keep it straight. Alright, once you've done 10 regular squats, you're going to go into a wide stance. So, you're going to be really wide with toes pointed outward, and this is great to target the, in, um, the inner thighs. So, now we're going to do 10 in this stance. So, it's the same concept. You can squat down. This is also known as a sumo squat. So, go as low as you can while keeping your form. Alright, so once you've done 10 of those, now you're going to do a close stance squat. So this is a little more difficult than the other squats because it really, really targets your butt. So get as close as you can, comfortably, and you're going to sit back into a squat, come back up. You might not be able to go as low for this one as you did for the others, but just try your best. Keep your back straight. I'm doing 10 of these as well. Alright, that's 10. Great job. So now rest a few seconds again if you need it. And if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause the video and take the rest time that you need. So catch your breath. So the next one that we're going to do is um, an alternating lunge. So for the lunge, what you're going to do is you're going to start here and you're going to step back like this. Press up from your heel. So you really want to focus on keeping your knee where it is and sitting your butt back. Stepping as far back as you can. So we're going to do 20 alternating lunges. So make sure you really step back. As far as you can. Come back up. Keep going. 
Make sure you keep your balance. Go slower if you have to. And make sure most of your weight is on your heel. You shouldn't um, rock your weight forward to your toes. You can injure yourself. As slow as you can, keep going. So now we have one last exercise in the beginning workout. So this last exercise is going to be a calf raise. Now a calf raise is really great not only to tone up your calves but the rest of your legs as well. So for the calf raise, it's fairly simple. You're just going to stand, feet about hip width apart to start. And you're going to go up to your tippy toes and back down. Just go up as high as you can and back down. Keep the rest of your body completely still. Now it looks really simple, but when you do a lot of these, you'll really start to feel it. So we're going to do 20 regular calf raises. You feel free to go at your own pace. Make sure you go really up as high in your toes as you can. Twenty regular calf raises. So now we're gonna change up our stance a bit, and we're gonna point the toes outward. So this targets the inside of our legs and our calves. So you're gonna do ten with your uh, toes like this. So go up and back down. So it's really important to keep your back straight. Don't arch or round too much. Keep it completely straight, and try to tighten your your abs. And now for the last one, we have 10 calf raises with our toes pointed in. So this is kind of a funny stance, the toes pointed inward. And this is a great to work the outside of your legs and tone up the outside of your calves. So go up, back down. This one is the most difficult of all the calf raises, so just try your best. Let's do 10. All right, those are 10. So that's it for our beginner home workout. So we did four exercises. So if you really want to get a good workout in, repeat all these four exercises three times in total and do it about three times a week. Once you feel like um, you've mastered this workout, you can move on. Make sure to check out the intermediate uh, leg and butt, butt exercises. So once again, I'm Vicky Justice. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.